guy checks all the boxes. you love to see it. Welcome to The Wrap Up, presented by Samsung QLED. I'm Christine Williamson, and I am joined by my two friends over there. Hey! Yeah, hey! Hey! Ho! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Bring me that 2017. Just because. Just what was that called? The uh, Whip. The Whip. Yeah. <laughs> Don't follow it. Take it away, otherwise day people day. are already tuning out. I honestly <laughs> do not. I mean, Gary... I don't know what happens when you dance, but it's just not good. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, it <laughs> hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just got to take it out. It. Welcome just, to the show, Gary. Hello, show. everybody. <laughs> Watch basic. me get dragged for the next 30 <laughs> minutes. So basic. I feel like you're so cool. So you should be able to dance like what? a cool person. And so it's just like it doesn't work out. Um, anyways, happy Saturday. I'll we work got on the next Saturday 30 minutes. Shout outs. Okay, thank you. Um, Saturday shout outs. Let's start with the loneliest man. How lonely are we talking? Uh, this Auburn game was literally... <laughs> <laughs> I would never not laugh at stuff like this, bro. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty damn lonely. Hey, what if it's by choice? Look, Maybe he wants to Alone does not imply lonely. Let's Straight be up. clear, right? Like, I, I have been alone quite a bit, and I don't always feel lonely. My man just wanted to take social distance to another level. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll take literally. a step further. I don't like people, so, like, that's... Yo, that's where I would be. <laughs> yeah. So good wow. with that, yeah? I said what you were thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We're on the same page. We are <laughs> all him. We're all yeah. him. It is what it is. I mean, me and Trevor were talking about that the other day. We don't like people, so we don't want to be around people. It is. I wonder how many people were at that game. We're an optimistic group, aren't we? <laughs> Positivity. We hate everybody. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the worst <laughs> disguise. And this was... Um, <laughs> So hey, he Kirk, and Kirk said that he was just trying to, uh, you know, hide. But I guess, you know, we already saw him. So he he was through, through with y'all. Through with y'all. There's a lot of germs. <laughs> Really it's just a lot of mouth germs. Just hey, straight all up in the gator eyes. to the grill. That's but you know great. what's crazy? People did say that you could get it through your eyes, so maybe that's what he's doing. He's just trying to protect himself mm. fully. MDC dub. Wow, yeah. Hey, shout out to Christine with the I knowledge. love when people call me a doctor because I always know all the information. Of course. Really? Sure. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Iowa disguised as a football team. No shade. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, no shade. you just I thought that's what, the I thought, Hawkeyes? No, 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 like, no shade. No shade. I love Iowa. That's what I thought it was going to be, though. Okay. I am new to all of these kids. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, let's go to best Houdini. Oh, this is great. This is great. Bo Nix uh, might be a little greasy because he just implying. slid. Did you see that? Yes. No, yeah, it was smooth as all out outdoors. Um, I was messing around on the college football show, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern, on all these screens that you're watching us here on. And I don't – look, let, let me be clear. He is not Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson will pull off a play like that, though. Uh-huh. Right, like just super slick, escapability on 10, and then the physical finish on the run. Like, hey, give, give that man his flowers for this play. I just want to say that. I like that. You got to feel like a hero evading five of the big boys up front and then getting it to the crib? Either a hero or you are scared for your life. And same, same. <laughs> you know, Probably it ain't same, that same. It's not and here's different. the thing. I can run faster scared than anybody can run mad. That's right. right. We've talked about this. Until I run out of air. Air. <laughs> Stamina <laughs> is <laughs> pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, That's shout, beside shout the point. That's the exercise bike that you be on every hey, day, right? Two rides yeah. today. Hey, let's You've go. Christine, how many it. you get in? Um, Gary, don't let Trev, don't let Trev come for me because you I already do, know. I didn't oh. say nothing. <laughs> Okay. I've been getting it in exercise on my bike. Fight. Okay, don't play with me. Don't play with me. All right, let's That's move on to status prop because, guys, <laughs> I'm going to say it again. I don't like these stupid chains and the, or the stupid uh, turnover gifts. I'm not saying anything gifts. to that dude's last name who also is ro- riding a neck roll. Right. Bro. Chrissy, you talking noise about the wrong person. That's a throwback. Like, <laughs> clearly, this person does not care about life. Like, they, <laughs> they are ready for whatever. At any, he's walking around with a two-by-four. Ain't nobody even tell us what it was for. Is that he, what it was? He might just walk around with that. I and thought it was a gigantic you, number two pencil. It's a pencil. <laughs> oh, it is. It, it is. was a pencil. <laughs> <It's a pencil. laughs> oh, he got a two-by-four? It's with, a pencil. In this economy? Lumber prices? <laughs> I mean, more into that later. Can, Trevor, can you explain to me teeth. why you would be given a pencil? Uh, 
that is that is in their locker room, something that I'm apparently not privy to. I, not, <laughs> I, I have no idea what the justification for that award is. It just doesn't seem to make sense. Maybe it doesn't. they're really good student athletes. Huh. Doubt it. Third Akron. How rude. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Let's move on to the, to the best hype man. <laughs> Uh, Who am I, bro? I'm class of August, all right? Who am I? Slay me. was uh, ejected in the second quarter for a controversial targeting call, but he was hype on the sideline. But but he he can't have the neck diaper going. We can't be sure. Like, come on, bro. Hey, pull it up. Pull, pull up the mask just, just for the one time for the people. But, like, how far can they kick him out of the game? Like, what? he's got nothing to lose. Correct. You, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's just optics, baby. What are you talking about? Look at everybody on the sideline. Right. <laughs> look at nobody. <laughs> oh, look. You know what? Who am I? Who, who among us? <laughs> they breed them different down there in Mizzou. <laughs> he also just looked so mad. Like, he didn't look like he was happy. Cause, yeah, because he wasn't he was, playing. He was, he was mad. <laughs> he was angered. Anger. Get okay. fired up for the boys. <laughs> you look a little different. Okay, let's go on to best flip. Um, best this flip. game Love was that. just awful. But, I mean... If, Who is it off of? I, I thought it was um, But anyways, here's uh, Spencer Sanders. He this didn't he didn't do this on purpose. It actually we've talked about this before. This looks so incredibly dangerous. That could have yeah. ended so poorly. Every time somebody lead a feet, I just ask why. The payoff. If you clear right, you come down on the ground. You get smacked by the next dude. The payoff again of leaving your feet. I I do not understand it. I just I want to know. Well, I am of the age to recognize now that youth is wasted on the young, and mm -hmm. these dudes are out here with reckless abandon, and they can rebound from that. Somebody my age does that, they're not getting up without no. assistance. No. That's no, very no, true. Like, yeah. I will, however, um, give him props because he was holding onto the ball. If I was that high in the air and my face was facing towards the ground, I would be putting both arms down, and he just ha held onto the ball and just decided to See, use one arm. You, you have never run for dropping the football before. That's what that's that's what's different there because I've run for other you run things. enough for look you run enough for dropping that dag on football I promise you gonna hold on to it for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on to toughest ref. Uh, this was absolutely hilarious, honestly. If I'm being honest, another oh, football game. Hold that. <laughs> Hey, he was so messed up, he put the mask over his eyes afterwards. Like, he, pulled, he pulled it up like Kirk Ferentz. I don't understand this either. Like, why are people using their hands to protect themselves? Put your hands, put your hands up. Okay, here's the thing. I used to umpire Little League Baseball, and when I tell you that is a test of everything. Reflexes. Yes. It got to the point where these catchers, they were just there for no reason. I started <laughs> catching the ball barehanded. So I say that to say there comes a point in your career where self-preservation is more important than the optics of staying within the confines of your job. You got to make that catch. We done seen it. A couple refs offer some forearm shivers on occasion. Yes. Right? Like, that man got to be ready for whatever. Clearly, he has not gone through the, the proper protocol to get his mind right when he's standing in the middle of that field. Those refs that we see catching bodies have yeah. been on the receiving end of oh, yeah. the body snatching before they so learned this ref he lived this yeah next time that bean is beaming for his head he's making the catch <laughs> 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 Right. Right. Uh, that would have been out. amazing. That would have been amazing if he decided to do that. Uh, let's go on to the best recovery. Wow, we got a lot of this game today. Uh, this one. Why are you mad? Uh, I'm just saying. I just huh? noticed. Oh, so, delicious. This is just a casual little vomit. <laughs> Delicious. And then uh, back to the line of scrimmage. No big deal. Here's the thing. Like, so most of the time, that, that'll happen during the summer during games, like because it's overheated, you you exhausted. Da -da -da. Bro, it's December. It's not that hot. <laughs> he, he might be too cold. Maybe he's so too cold. He threw up because he was cold, Christine. I so hold on. I, no, I'm Christine. You know, that might I'm be out. a thing. Is that throw up a result of what may have happened Friday night? Let's not indict nobody. Mm -hmm. It was a question. It wasn't. <laughs> I, it was, I just said let's. Was not an accusation, <laughs> simply an inquisition. Okay, we told the last line time there. you threw up. Last time I threw up, 2017, I threw my back out. After I threw up, never, never, ever again. <laughs> so I feel the pain, and I would hate to be the running back knowing I'm getting the ball. Correct. I'm avoiding that. If Correct. that's where the blocking is, guess where I'm not going. I'm taking a knee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope. I, Cause I can't it. run over there. I'm sorry. I I <laughs> that man it. just threw up right there. I'm not about to I'm run over there. I'm not risking it. <laughs> um, I was telling Trev before the show that I have thrown up 
due to some athletic Gross. stuff before, and it just happens. You just get over it. You throw up, and then you just keep Now, going. see, hold on. Christina didn't tell you the full story because she threw up in her hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. First of all, since we're going, since we're going to say since that. Since you want to air I people just, out. <laughs> listen, I'm not airing anybody out. I did throw up into my hands, but I was running, so I had to get to the line, okay? There's other more Come important on. things happening. No, Where we're going to All right, we got the best. Distraction. And for some reason, the sprinklers just decided to go off in the middle of the Clemson Virginia Tech game. That's odd. Hey, oh, God. Wait. what did you do with the throw? Oh, this is <laughs> This is, Dax, the this is Dax Hollifield who just was like lit for some reason. Is he a kicker? Most likely. Because, like, he's like first I'm... of all, like, <laughs> slack sleeves is a key indicator. <laughs> like, them loose sleeves, like, mm, that's not a look. I question how oh. much you are around here. He well, yeah, the like visor he with hype. the crossbar, I thought he was doing something. See, mm, it's debatable, because sometimes you just get, like, the cats that straggled along, it was like, we got extra, you can have this. Bro, like, I'm wearing every piece of accessory <laughs> made available to me. That sounds about right. 100%. That sounds I, that about tracks. right. Yeah, yeah, we, that. we get that. We get that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you that, don't that know does not surprise me. <laughs> um, and then finally, we got the best scrum. This was uh, kind of interesting because this, this was terrible great. for him. I felt this, so bad. I love why? because I love Zach Wilson. Okay, he can still get this work. I think he should be protected at all costs. He looks like he's 14 years old. Hey, hey, how about you don't throw a pick <laughs> and then you won't get your face stretched? I'm sorry, but that that's just how the game goes. He threw that pick. He became a defender. Guess what happens to defenders? They get blocked, and if you happen to get blocked into the turf, uh, that is aqua green or whatever that. I'm sorry for you. You're such a meathead. Am I? <laughs> no. That, that came out. It did. I ain't gonna lie. That, that kind of came out there. But actually, like, yeah. not because I know you, like, personally. <laughs> but, like, the second give me some from the defensive lineman may have been crossing. Like, come on, Trevor, give no, me that. No, we finish blocks. Like, okay, if offense does that to defenders all the time. Like, I have given a little extra on the way down. Like, that... That's how it goes. So if I get that back to me on a uh, on a turnover, I, I had it coming. That That's what it is. What threat did Zach Wilson pose? Uh, none. <laughs> exactly. They were Who just needs mad. a threat? <laughs> they were just mad. They just wanted to hit Zach Wilson. Yes. Uh, yep. All right. That is the game. I don't want what? what? <laughs> <laughs> that is the I guess football. that's what football <laughs> is. I don't know. <laughs> right. Clemson versus Va Tech. I got chirped. I got chirped so hard for calling Virginia Tech Va Tech. They do not really? like. Really? Wait. They don't oh, my goodness. I think I got that from, from you because I've never said that in my life. I'm going to tell you right now, the Hokies do not like being referred to as Va Tech. Ooh, let me chill out this. I think I've said it before. I, I, not say I, think, tech. I think I got that from, from Gary, and I'm never going to say that again. That is I a think. good note. I will make sure. Virginia Tech. Vod Tech getting stomped right now. <laughs> is that Darian Wrencher right wow, there? You just, Punch you, it for six? That's just like high key disrespect. The most res disrespect you could offer in a single sentence. Vod Tech with the ball. <laughs> I will say, though, Virginia Tech oh, off this game. End it, no! Oh, no, this is so sad. End it. Oh, no. Scoop and score. That's to the bad. crib. Hey, so, hey, biggest thing about this game, too, for Clemson, like, they need style points in the worst way, That's right? True. Like, in that three slot, with one loss, they have to make it unequivocal that, like, they are one of the four best teams uh, in order to kind of, and, and especially when it comes to this ACC championship game that they have against Notre Dame. Like, they have to have all the style points in the world in order for that committee to either vault them above Notre Dame with the win or, or, or kind of just keep them in the conversation in that top four without question. Let me ask you this question, though, because as they currently sit in the three spot, yeah. even if they leapfrog Notre Dame, they would play Notre Dame. I mean, two, three, right? Sure. So, I mean, is it really just shuffling just to shuffle? It is, and, and but it's, it's more so in the eyes of should something go awry in between that time. Like if Ohio State messes around and just has like a doorsing in the yeah. Big Ten Championship and performs really well against Michigan, there's a chance that they can mess around and get leapfrogged. So they're trying to put themselves as much distance in between themselves and Ohio State as they possibly can. So that's where those style points come. Because it doesn't matter where they go as long as they move up. The only thing is the objective is do not fall into the four slot and have a first round, or excuse me, um, a bowl game with Alabama. Right, right. You, you avoid that at all costs, <laughs> right? Like you just don't want to get caught in that floor slot, knowing how good Alabama is playing at this point. Yeah, scared me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> a little jarring. <laughs> gotcha. Understood. So, Trev, how are you feeling about Trevor Lawrence? Oh, <laughs> about 
<laughs> when it comes to the I Heisman, thought you were concerned you like... about my well-being. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trev, how do you feel? How do you feel? No, how do you feel about T-Law when it comes to the Heisman race? Because, I mean, he's back after his two games off. How do you feel like he's been performing? Does he have a chance? I think he's a Heisman caliber player. I just don't know whether or not he's going to have the resume that a lot of these other players have. Like, that's the toughest part. It's, it's, a, matter of, it's a matter of understanding that, like, he has to have the same amount of uh, just the largest resume that, like, even the Justin Fields has had, just not missing the game, right? That's part of what this availability concept w is within the Heisman. I understand that it's, like, the resume this year, but there comes a point where it's like, all right, I know that they say they don't look back in the past, but he's been a finalist, right, last year, obviously. That's got to count for, like, accumulation of points, especially with this season being the crapshoot that it's been. Can't throw Justin Fields in that conversation. Right. Then, like, Ohio State played the base number of games. Yeah. So, like, we know he's going to be a finalist. Right. At that point, it's like, all right, guys, are we really going to, you know, Splitting nitpick? Hairs. Yeah, are we really going to nitpick missing two games because of COVID? Right. Because of this, because of that? No, like, he's a stud. He's proven it. There's no question. I don't know why I'm so upset about that. It's okay. It's okay to be riled up. I appreciate <laughs> yeah, the passion okay. behind it. That Danny man is a, Trevor. He's an excellent he's your player. your namesake. Without question. And I'm fighting for him, too. But I also want to celebrate another young man that plays the position that I used to pay, play about 20 pounds ago. It is now time for the biggest social moments of today, brought to you by the Cero by Samsung. We start in Texas because Derek Kersetter got injured today and his team rallied around him at the end of the game. That's really sweet. Like, I, I really did enjoy that moment. It's one of those things that warms your heart. You know, despite the, the uh, circumstances, my man was getting plenty of love from his teammates. Deep in the heart of Texas, uh, the brothers looking out for one another, man, oh, so you gotta love it. That was nice. I like what he said, though. I know. The song is kind of stuck in my head now after listening to that video, and I Sing it. So it's don't fine. sing it. Don't sing it. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't sing it. Uh, so Notre Dame's Leprechaun has actually some really good. He's athletic. I mean. Hey, so. Uh, is he sneaky athletic? <laughs> yes. It's very Cerebral. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he, last man out the locker room type stuff. Like Coach's coach son. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Real, real. Fun. Wait, was that him booting a 40 yarder? Hold on. I think we just, <laughs> I think we just glazed over that. <laughs> That's correct. Like it was off the uh, out the midair toss too. Like my man is impressive with it. The hand eye coordination is elite. You love to see it. Luck right, of the Irish. BYU versus Coastal had um, Mormons versus mullets. That like Catholics versus convicts energy. Yeah, yeah, and uh, like I kind of want to say it's problematic, but like it's not problematic. Why? Because, like no way. No. 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 What? <laughs> Dovetailing off of the 1980s battle of c uh, c Catholics versus convicts? Which is not a shot. <laughs> that, was not pro that was not problematic. <laughs> that was grit, baby. Let's go. And also, like, anybody who you run up on that has a mullet is not to be trifled with. And they showed that today. No, they, they are not to be trifled with. I respect it. Uh, they gave Zach Wilson the work at the end of the <laughs> show. It, it was pretty tough. Like, <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back, baby! All right, so, uh, Trev, since you're our resident football player, I need you to explain hey, exactly what I played in high school. was deciding to do <laughs> on this play. Why'd they just take the safety? Well, I don't know what the hell they were doing. <laughs> I, like, I was watching that game, and, and, and the only reaction I can muster up is, the hell is Louisiana doing? <laughs> I had nothing more. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know, I like conspiracy theories, and I was lost on TikTok, and one of these creators on TikTok had a theory these players are trying to throw the game. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, hey, real hey, they have some money on this, specifically the snapper. Right, right. So, like, <laughs> I, I had this thought. I was, like, they were playing for the tie with a lead. Like, I was about to get that tweet off, and then they won. I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, that would have been, been a funny joke. It was joke, just but, like, very weird. I thought you were going to have me, like, give me some no. insight, but I guess not. No, I'm not right. foolish. I'm not Indiana. saying there's money on the line, but there might have been money on the line. <laughs> Indiana gets a dub over Wisconsin, and they're fun. Yes, and that coach like exhibits the exact same energy of his whole team. Like it clearly carries over in its entirety. Like it's just all love at all times. There has been one constant throughout this college football season, and that is Indiana beating up on Indiana. They love to hit each other. They really they, do. Like they I, love to I'm hit each other. I'm pretty sure that coach caught a two piece in the yes, jaw. Like, yes, like, yes, I'm yes, pretty yes. sure that happened. Didn't you have a graphic earlier this season that he had like lost teeth? Like it was crazy. Yes, he, he got two of his teeth knocked out in <laughs> celebration. It's weird. I don't know what they have going on. That's that's it. that that's that's not a healthy love. That's yeah. toxic. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, that was our last social moments. This guy had his last home game and he balled out.
Couch Conversations, you know what it is. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper, Trevor Scales, Gary Streisky. And I always love when we get to have running backs on the show. Like, I just have a personal affinity, having played the position myself. And joining us today is a man who was very efficient with the carries today. Eight carries, 73 yards, three trips to the crib. That is one Michael Carter from UNC, the Tar Heels, representing on Senior Day. We appreciate you taking the time joining us here on the wrap-up, Michael. And uh, we'll start this thing off right because, again, played a little running back myself. And I understand just what it's like to be a part of a committee back there. How many times have you and Javante Williams played rock, paper, scissors for who gets to go into the end zone at the end of a drive? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. We, <laughs> we, don't, we don't fight over it, honestly. I know that if we if I break off a long run and I get down to the one, Javante coming in <laughs> and vice versa. So yeah. It's all about finishing the runs. <laughs> right. So, like, y'all got to give plenty plenty grief to each other about, look, you better finish the drill because I'm coming in and sniping that six if you don't. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> got to come take it season. Vice versa. You had a hell of a performance on your senior night after the game. You said it was overwhelming. It was weird for so many different reasons. Can you just sort of encapsulate what today actually was and meant for you? Definitely. I, I don't think that it really hit me about, you know, it being senior day and it's the last time I'm actually going to be on the field at Keenan Stadium until probably a couple of hours ago. I think it was it, it really was a weird experience because of, of COVID and things like that. But overall, I'm grateful for the experience and just to have the opportunity to even be here for the last four years. So yeah, it was man. good. It was fun. I imagine that. And, and speaking of a fun run, like, Honestly, this entire season for the Tar Heels has been like a hell of a run for y'all. Like to do the things that y'all have done to make the run, spe uh, specifically at the beginning of the season that y'all have done at the offense. What's that been like for you? Yeah, it's been it's been fun. I saw a stat today. I think we had, I think we've had six games in a row of over 500 yards, and I just I think that's like <laughs> unbelievable. You don't see that a lot, so it's just a blessing to be a part of that. Okay, so and to be yeah, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. no, please go ahead. No, I was just saying it's the blessing because, you know, when I got here, the team was, you know, they were back and forth between good and bad seasons. But my first two years, we just weren't good. And not that we wasn't good, we was talented, but we just wasn't finishing games. So now, you know, the last two seasons, we've been able to put together some wins and have some success. It's just been a complete 180, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. No, that's a blessing for real. Uh, but I'm trying to stoke the flames a little bit more within the locker room. Apologies, <laughs> uh, because look, the run game, <laughs> run game is solid. I mentioned you and Javante, but Sam Howell was making a Heisman campaign towards the start of the season. What's that like as far as just being able to click on all cylinders every single Saturday? You don't care what the defense throws at you. Y'all know you're going to get your numbers up. Honestly, it's so crazy because we got, of course, you know, we got me and Javante and then, we got some really good offensive linemen, and we got a, the best quarterback in the nation in Sam Howe. And we got some demons on the outside at receiver, whoever it is, you know, our, our first group, second group, it don't matter. I mean, just to know that we, we can put numbers up on anybody whenever we feel like it. It just is awesome. It's a cool feeling. Michael, enough football talk. The regular people who didn't play D1 ball like myself and the majority of our audience watching want to know, what is it like to be a Jordan athlete playing at UNC? And I got to imagine the equipment room maybe stays unlocked. I mean, is it just a free-for-all? Like, what's it like? Hoodies. For example, did you get the University Nines today that nobody got? Man, uh, I feel like, I feel like y'all might be a little overestimating just a little bit, <laughs> but I, I think it's like a really cool experience just being a Jordan team, one of like four maybe. Um, I know that kid from BYU wears the Jordan headband, but he ain't got the all Jordan, the gear. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just but, imagine though. But, yeah, but I think I think I think we are gonna get the nines. That's just. If I had to roll the dice, I think we're going to get him. That's, so not, we'll see. that's not a bad way to kind of just tee things up. Me and Gary sitting over here, we ain't got no joy. <laughs> I tried. I caught an L. But that's I took <laughs> plenty of L's this morning. <laughs> I tried every website just out there, so, Michael. So many. They was on the sneakers app? Yeah. Yes. I took an L, bro. Oh, you know like, they, hey, you know you how about this? You was just like, hey, uh, y'all go to the sneakers app? I don't do that. <laughs> I go to the equipment room. <laughs> Anytime I go on the sneakers, I, I already know I'm not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the game. Look, uh, uh, real quick, as far as just uh, the videos that y'all are able to put out, courtesy of the gear that you're getting, who is shooting these? And, like, how can <laughs> I find a videographer to get me that top-level production to just follow me around? Uh, 
Yeah, Matt, Matthew Federick do uh, uh, videos and and Mike Jones do the pictures. And from the time I came here to the time I'm leaving, our, our media team has took a 180. Like, they are beasts. Like, they, they make everything look good. Every picture they send you, you're going to want to post it. So I just, you got to kind of calm down with the post. You don't want to have too many. So, but yeah, Matthew Federick do the video. So he he really good. So. Hey, man, shout out to Matthew then. We appreciate the time, Michael. Congrats on the <laughs> heck of a career that you've had at the UNC Tar Heel program, and uh, best of luck in your future endeavors, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Can't talk right now. I'm making one of those stupid real estate videos. So, uh, unsure if you know much about Gary Streisky, but he calls himself Kimchi, and we call him Kimchi. What, what would we call you, Kimchi? DIY Poppy. Let's just DIY, go with that. DIY wait, Poppy. Wait, I Christine, Christine, Christine we're not going to recognize this wardrobe change this man just had. Like, we're not going to. He, he got I the car was, heart beating on. Old, maybe. I don't know what's going on. I earned my car heart. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to give um, Kimchi, what we call you, DIY, DIY Kimchi. DIY Poppy. Pants to flip some stadiums. Yeah, we're going to travel across the country to talk about some iconic stadiums. First lesson in real estate that I taught you guys, right? The three most important things are... Location, location, location. location. Perfect. Oh, and right. Just like a good contractor, I've made notes, so please forgive me if I have to reference them. Listen, every one of these properties are in equitable positions, but like all old, rather, we'll call them vintage. Okay. They need a little bit of a pick-me-up. So first, we're going to Ann Arbor. We're going to start with Michigan's stadium, okay? Start off, standard ranch, one level. It's an open floor plan, but Aren't it doesn't all work. all stadiums open floor plan? They all are, unless okay, it's a dome, and it's, it's closed. Okay, just... <laughs> um, the flow is terrible here, guys. I was there last year. There is literally one. You're seeing it. One breezeway to the field. Everybody who has to get to the field has to take that one breezeway, the decor criminally dated. They got the wind banner, a couple modern touches that I would like to implement here. Some shiplap over Coach Harbaugh's door wow. so he Some can't get door. out of his over, office. Over the door. It would certainly bring this property into the 21st century. That's just a DIY poppy suggestion. Can okay. I get your takes on it? I, mm, so I'm a fan of barn doors. Like I just, I like them in general. So I'm with that being on the office. I, I don't know. I, well, I think it well, certainly increases the value. He's basically saying he wants to lock Harbaugh in yes. his office. But I don't like shiplap, and I don't like barn doors. Wait, why? Because I feel like answer? they're every. Well, they you look, don't have to live there, look, Christine. They look fine. I just feel like everybody has them. So It's hot. Like, it's in right now. We're going to the Rose Bowl next, okay? I got to get through these. I'm a very, very big, con busy contractor. Uh, <laughs> we're heading out to the most ridiculous market in the country. More people leaving California than staying, so please don't bring what made you leave to where you're going, namely housing prices. We have a perfect case of getting priced out of the market, and that is a shame when we're talking about the Rose Bowl. Effectively home to squatters, <laughs> UCLA. They stink. <laughs> With more and more people opting for the modular home, that is my suggestion here. You put this thing on wheels, a la that graphic, and wait, take it around the country. Wait. Let it live a little. Wait, wait, wait. Gary, Gary, Bring Gary, it Gary. back for the granddaddy of them all. No, wait, no. You don't You don't just get to pick stadiums up and put them on the oversized truck, like the oversized warning truck. What, like, that's what not how this road works. is that going if down? people can do them with houses, why can't you do it with a stadium? Because they're much because larger, it's large. Gary. It's, it's a pretty... Modern Gary. engineering, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Modular. No, any of Break it into sections. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> We'll have to address that at some point. Beaver yeah. Stadium, State College, Pennsylvania. Um, think wooden roller coaster, but stadium form. This thing shakes more than a center in church. It's been previously renovated, but I was there in 2018, and I can be convinced not a single permit was pulled. However, may I suggest reinforcing this foundation? Make it farmhouse because land of the Amish. But dang it, guys, not that kind of farmhouse. <laughs> I'm talking hashtag farmhouse. I'm talking distressed doors. I'm talking yeah. a lot of ivy. I'm talking shiplap. Yes. What are we doing here? Yeah, the, the farm sink with the porcelain exposed yes. at the front, right? Like, no, yes. I, I can get with that, and I agree. I learned that the Amish were heavy there through that read. So yes. thank you for educating okay. me. I didn't know that. I got to talk to my designers about this one. Christine, I need your take on Harvard's stadium, okay? We're bringing it back to New England for the smart kids, okay? Um, second largest endowment in the country Harvard has, so you would think they would throw some money to make this look less like the Roman Colosseum and more like Caesar's Palace, but I digress. There's a certain charm New Englanders come to expect in their buildings, kind of like that. Um, this doesn't lack that with its stone veneer and Tuscan motif, not to mention the legends, guys sitting next to me who have made this perfectly Crimson comfortable. Comet. 
Boom. Less is certainly more, but in Boston, good luck finding a dependable contractor. Yeah. But see, look. Yeah. He said, yeah. I love, I love vintage. I feel like we should keep like the old. Like Roman vintage? Like, yes. Like AD? Keep it. Keep that. It's great. What? Well, mm. They it's made not stuff comfortable so much, to sit on stuff, at all. They made stuff so much better quality than we make stuff now, so just keep that stuff. But it, it was also forever. very Think uncomfortable. About how long it's been there. It you can't last just, forever. But you can't just go sit in Harvard Stadium and be comfortable. You Everything's bring made of lime. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why it None of that so is long. very Last one on the well. DIY poppy. We're going to the Memorial Stadium. Which one? The one in Death Valley. Home to Clemson. Um, every shot of this place reminds me of the front room that nobody ever gets to sit in. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Clemson has money, restoration, hardware money. The only thing I worry about, the liability running down that freaking hill. Very steep. Uh, C-Dub, you've been there, so I suggest to mitigate risk, install a handrail. That looks pretty good, but I don't think that works because the guys are running down the hill so fast. I mean, like, Dabo's well, elbows are all the way up. He maybe. Got the form going. How is he going to hold on to a rail? Maybe the work. railing will encourage them to utilize it, right? Like, maybe that's something that is it, nobody was ever thinking about safety because no, nothing was there to provide safety to begin with. So, if you it's throw that there. In there. It maybe well, gives you the safety, of Correct. course. And like I said, don't take it from me. I'm just a guy with a Carhartt beanie, but I did earn it and a Buffalo plaid uh, sweater and it's lined. So I'm just saying the DIY poppy might be on to a couple things. He has a rotary uh, saw. Here's so, yeah, a fun real. fact about Memorial Stadium. There are mad, I said stadium, but I mean stadium. There are mad bats there. Like there are bats everywhere. Really? Everywhere. So that's an issue stadium. that you should probably okay. look into before you throw that's all that fine. money in there. Um, just everywhere. be careful. Call pest control. They're yeah. everywhere. Just uh, for a uh, 90,000 person stadium, <laughs> just, yeah, Casual. fumigate this Casual. stadium. And I feel like Kenji Poppy would be able to do that because don't you like rent houses too? So you would have to fumigate it so you can get rid of the rats. If you but it's much it. larger than a condo. I don't, <laughs> no, no, we can't just like pass we'll over that. We'll talk about that next time. Thank you guys out. for watching the wrap up presented by Samsung QLED. We'll see you next week. See, Dom, I'm not renting out the bat cave. <laughs> I mean, it is very odd. They're they are livable. They just, literally are everywhere. It's weird. There's also dead ones everywhere. It's, it's so weird. You are sandbagging the Clemson program. I Cycle know. Of just life. Everybody Recruiting. Everybody knows this about Tanking. the stadium. There's bad Minute by minute. Literally everywhere. It's Christine Williamson doesn't so want you to go to Clemson. It's so she went there. <laughs> no, you should still go there. It's great. <laughs> go, go Tigers. <laughs> Today. <laughs>